Good evening. Good evening. Hello, Gabriela. Hello, Claudia. Hi, Gabriela. How are you? Very fine. Oh, Hi, Professor. Hi, Claudia. Nice having you here. Qué bueno tenerlo. Mamá me está hablando casi. Okay, oh, no. so Gabriela, how's everything? Tell me. Well, today was a slow day. Oh, really? Yeah. I don't tell a lot. I didn't. Uh -huh, I didn't tell a lot. It was. <sighs> Little slow. Little slow. It was slow. Yeah. yeah. But that happens, you know. Yeah. I try to make my day good. You uh, what? Yeah, I try. Bueno, eso sí se lo tengo que decir en español porque no es como decírselo en inglés. Pero nada más ahora fui a my first job. Yeah. Eh, my first or my previous? My first job. Okay. Uh, fui a, a sacar unos lentes. Oh, really? Yeah. Entonces, este, acompañé a una persona a sacar sus lentes y pues, después fui a, ¿cómo sería? A esperar a mi novio cuando salió de trabajar. Okay, to wait for my boyfriend to finish working. Okay, waiting. For my boyfriend finish working. Okay, well, that's nice. No a casa. That's nice, that's nice. Yeah. Yeah, that's all. Okay, okay. Well. And you? How was your day? Oh, my day. Just busy, you know. <laughs> busy as usual. Hi. What? Yeah. Eh, no sería. Usted es un hombre muy ocupado. Yeah, I am. I am, but that's normal. Yeah. But, lo importante es que estamos acá. Yeah, I know. Teacher, lo dejo un momento, tengo que ir a comprar algo. Ok, perfect, no problem, no problem. Okay, platicamos después. That's fine, that's fine. Thank you. Let's see. Marvin, good evening. Let's check. Well, Marvin is in the back. Uh, Maria Teresa, good evening. How are you? <laughs> no problem, Marvin, no problem. Just let me know when you're ready, okay? Okay, okay. Maria Teresa. Hello, no. teacher. Good evening. Hi, how are you? Good evening. Voy de camino, teacher. Por eso okay, me... no problem, no problem. Let's see, there's 
Brian, hello Brian, how are you? Hello teacher. Hello, how are you? Uh, uh, very good. How was your day? So so. So so. Why? Why do you say so so? Un poco pesada. Oh, really? Un poco, sí, un poco jeteada de la tarde. I can imagine, I can imagine. Yeah, and it's almost the end of the week. Well, when is your day off? Hmm? When's your day off? What's your day? Hmm. ¿Cuándo es su día libre? Es que, es que no, o sea, no descanso ni los domingos. O sea, el trabajo sí, pero eh, no, no tomo como un descanso. Oh, o sea, really? El trabajo eh, solo sería hasta el sábado al mediodía, pero el domingo y el, la tarde del sábado las tengo ocupadas, entonces. Es como que no hay descanso entre semanas. Oh my gosh. So you got a, a very heavy schedule. You got a he very heavy schedule. Tiene un horario muy pesado. Sí, yes, yes. Eh, más que todo porque quiero ver. Cuando a veces no me queda tiempo de ir en las mañanas a entrenar, tengo que ir domingo. O sea, para no dejar como un, ese día que doy yo. Well, it's hard, it's difficult. But anyway, what can we do? That's life, right? Así nos toca. Si toca, sí. Es de otra. Yeah. Welcome, Brian. And thank you very much. Give me just a second, guys. Eh? Okay, let's see, let's see who else is around. Ana Maritza, good evening, how are you? Hello, teacher. Hello, how are you? I'm very good. How was your day? Did you have a good day, a bad day, a regular day? ¿Qué tal su día? ¿Cómo se dice un día normal? A regular day, an average, average. Hold on, hold on. I'll text it for you. Se lo mando en un texto. An average day. Like that. Um, an average day. A day. Average, average. Average, average day. Oh. Same old activities as usual. 
Lo mismo de siempre. Yes. I understand you. That happens. That happens. And ready for the class? Yes. Okay, that's nice. Welcome. Thank you, teacher. Thanks to you. Okay, let's see, let's see. Uh, uh, um. Angelica, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, how are you? I'm fine. Yeah, very good, very good. Very good, that's nice. Yes. How was your day? Um, so so. Um, no sería my sales. No fueron tan bien. Oh, really? Yes, but mm. tomorrow, espero pasar mejor. Yeah, you know, that happens. I mean, in business like that, that happens. You have, sometimes you have a good day, sometimes uh, you have bad days. Yes. The good thing is that you are here. Yeah, yeah. Welcome to the class. Thank you, teacher. Okay, well. Let's see who else is around. Esmeralda, hello, how are you? Hello, teacher. Um, I am good. That's great. Welcome to the class. How was your day? Uh, it's perfect. Me No me acuerdo cómo se dice. Que descanso este día. Oh, really? Today is my day off. Ah, today, today is my day off. So, yep. Okay. Like that. mm -hmm. mm, that's nice. What did you do? Mm. Mm. I, I, I go visit the doctor. I went, I went. Mm -hmm. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. You had a doctor appointment? Ah, uh, uh, no sé cómo se diría. Visité el doctor eh, para una radiografía. Mm. Mm. No sé. Okay, I, okay, hold on. Uh -huh. I went to the doctor. Or some uh, X rays. Mm. Some, some, I'm sorry, some. Some X ray. Okay, um, I went to the doctor for some X rays. Yep, X rays. Uh, X rays. Oh, that's nice. I hope everything went okay. Pero que todo bien. Sí, sí, ahí vamos. Ahí van dando pataditas de abogado. Yeah, yeah, you know, that happens, that happens. Eso nos pasa a todos. Uh -huh. 
-hmm. But it's good to have you here in class. Qué bueno tenerlo por acá. Thank you, teacher. No, thanks to you. Mm -hmm. And welcome to the class. Sí. Welcome to the class. Gracias. <laughs> okay, let's see, let's see. Braulio, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? I'm fine. I always working. Uh, welcome to the club. Bienvenido al club. Thank you, teacher. Yeah, you know, that's the way it goes for all of us. Así nos toca a todos. But it's good that you are here. So, did you have a good day, a hard day at work? How was your day? Tell me. ¿Cómo estuvo el día? Uh, I'm fine. It was fine. Uh, taking me, me, medicine. Okay, taking medicine. Mm, mm, mucho, mucho trabajo. A lot of work. Yeah. Uh, but what can good. we do? I little bit tired. A little bit tired. Yeah. 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 But at least you're home. You can rest a little bit. What time do you check in tomorrow? A qué hora en la mañana? A qué hora? What time do you check in? A qué hora es en la mañana? Ah. Work. Ah, hey. At o eight. Clock. What time do you leave home? A qué hora sale de casa? Um, uh, six o'clock. Wow, very early. Yes, hay mucho tráfico en la mañana. Yeah, in the morning there's always traffic. Siempre hay tráfico. And sometimes it is hard to deal with traffic. It's terrible. I want you to check. I am just fine. Thank you very much. I have a, a nice day. A very good day, I could say. I can't complain, you know. I, I think I have to No, yet, no, yet, but I. I think they're going to push me, punish me with that. Todavía no, pero creo que ya me van a castigar con eso, you know. It's not coffee. Coffee is the one that is delicious. Faith, not that delicious. Coffee, coffee delicious. Yeah, coffee is the one that I just love and enjoy. Yes, coffee delicious. Well, Braulio, welcome to the class. Nice having you here. Thank you, teacher. Thanks to you. Atenas, hello, good evening. Hello, teacher, good evening. How's everything? How was your day? What did you do today? Um, my day is... Um, my day was... My day was... Um, very, very heavy. Oh, really? Yes. Um, this day went to the Ministerio de Trabajo and Oficialía Mayor. Okay. And uh, give a legal advice. Okay, that's nice. And check check the email and um um 
dry dry up con no sorry um, um I made a contract okay mm. yeah I know what you mean but you don't make a contract in this case uh, it's another word the one that we use uh -huh. and, uh, With this look, let me take it for you because this is an special uh, concept, but it applies to your to your area. This is what you do. I well, in past is draw. In past is I draw up a contract. In pasado, in pasado draw. It draw. I draw up a contract. I because draw what you, a contract. What you did was redactar. But in your area, in uh, your specific, that's the way you say it. Así es como se dice. Okay. Because I mean, redactar usually is right, okay? Mm -hmm. Or in some situations can be edit. Um, but draw up applies to redactar, expedir, okay? That's very, very specific. And so in the legal lingo, it's draw up. I I drew up a country. Okay. 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 Hmm. Interesting. So you were busy. Bueno, y esa es la mitad de lo que hice en todo el día, pero... Oh, make, making big box. Está yeah, resumido. That's nice. Okay. It's the summary. It's the summary. It's the summary. Summary. Mm -hmm. It's the summary. <laughs> well, nice. I mean, it's always good to be busy. Okay, Atenas, welcome. Nice having you here. Thank you, teacher. Desire, good evening. How are you? Okay, let's see. There's Rebecca. Hello, Rebecca. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Very good. Very good. That's Very good. nice. How was your day? Um, is it is day rest? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. So the, oh, today was your day off. What did you do today? Tell me what what did you do today? Okay, so it's your day off. What activities did you perform on your day off? Okay, I I went to uh, the hard um my daughter at a school. Oh, okay, okay. I went to drop off. I went to drop off my daughter at school. I went to drop off. Mm -hmm. Yes. That's nice. Mm -hmm. That's it great. Was... It's, so, it's so good that you can share with your daughter. Um, 
si no voy, pues, se enoja cuando descanso. Yeah, I can imagine, I can imagine. Kids are like that, they are, they are very possessive, right? Sí, muy angry. Yeah. Yes. Y ahora cuando esté grande, le digo yo. Yeah, well, you know, kids are like that. Así son los chicos. They are very pues, possessive. Yeah. No lo entiendo. But that's normal. Don't worry, don't worry. Welcome. Nice having you here, Rebecca, and welcome. Thank you, teacher. Claudia, hello, good evening. How are you? Well, guys, let me please get the, let me get the attendance. Ana Maritza Flores Cervellón. Present. Angélica Guadalupe Tobar de Melgar. Present. Braulio Enrique Hernández Sosa. Brian Alexander Rivas Sánchez. Claudia Teresa Flamenco. Elisa Saraí Martínez Ramírez. Esmeralda Lisbeth Vázquez Silva. Presente. Gabriela Guadalupe Celaya Sayas. Presente. Karen de Sirén Mengíbar de Sánchez. Catherine Beatriz Morales Calchavillo. Present. Katia Estefanía Pineda Alvarado. María Teresa González de Lemos. Present, teacher. Marvin Gabriel Romero Cubillas. Present, teacher. Milton Antonio García Castellano. Mirna Atenas Vanega Zamora. Present. Rebeca del Carmen Morales Molina. Present teacher. Víctor Manuel Reyes Carvajal. Thank you, Rebeca. And Xiomara Men Yamilet Mendoza Mendoza. Present teacher. Welcome, Xiomara. Thank you, thank you. Okay, thank guys. You. Good evening. See. Good evening. Let's see, let's see, guys. Oops. I lost somebody. What the other one? Who was it? Mm -hmm. oh. Okay, now let's see. Well, first of all, I will switch into Spanish just for a second. Uh, perdón, voy a pasar al español por un segundo porque quiero comentarles unos pequeños detalles. Uno de ellos es que no sé si ya recibieron, si no están por recibir. Un correo donde le va a aparecer lo de la encuesta de satisfacción. Eh, la encuesta de satisfacción es algo que nosotros vamos a realizar juntos el día lunes. Durante la clase yo le voy a mencionar en qué momento la vamos a realizar porque siempre nos apoya alguien de la oficina. Eh, por favor, si reciben el correo, solamente verifiquen que están sus datos, ¿verdad? porque ahí le van a aparecer los datos con los cuales lo vamos a ir llenando. Eh, es un proceso sencillo, pero lo vamos a ir haciendo despacio. Vamos a ver un video, un tutorial, que también le va a aparecer ahí en el correo o en el mensaje. Eh, le prestamos mucha atención, lo pueden ver antes, es mucho mejor. Igual lo vamos a repasar ahí en la clase. Porque el problemita con la encuesta de satisfacción es esto. Si nos equivocamos, el siguiente día le van a estar llamando a usted para que la vuelva a hacer. Y es mejor si lo hacemos todos juntos, así que la vamos a hacer despacio y tranquilos, ¿ok? Ustedes ya tomaron cursos con Insta, pero antes saben de que es un requerimiento normal, siempre se realiza, ¿ok? Eh, el otro, el trabajo en la plataforma. Guys, tengo algunos de ustedes que eh, tenemos un poquito de atraso. 
Eh, tendríamos que haber terminado ya la sección 3 y estar en la sección 4. El midterm tendríamos que haberlo hecho todos. Ese estaba al final de la sección 2. Después de la última actividad de la sección 2, al darle next, le iba a aparecer el midterm. Tengo, déjame ver. Um, ok, lo vamos a hacer de esta manera. Dígame, Sinaldo. Ok, eh, yo cuando dijo que vamos a hacer un examen, ¿va? Eh, usted me dijo que no me acuerdo que se cerraba algo así. ¿va? Bueno, la cosa es que ese día yo tenía tareas de la otra academia y no la sí, pero el midterm, el midterm, el midterm usted lo tiene. No, eh, yo ah. le digo que el sistema se cierra el último día. Ah, vaya, vale, y eso. A la y medianoche. Eso. Y eso, eh, el día, quiero ver, no sé si fue el lunes, no sé qué día fue, que yo intenté entrar a la plataforma de eso para hacer las tareas, porque creo que desde las 9 ya no la he hecho. No sé si ya no voy a poder entrar porque dije que ya no voy a seguir, o no sé, porque a mí ahorita oh, también solo me apareció. Oh, sí, no. Que... Ah, no, Esmeralda, okay. si a usted me le falta el midterm y tiene solo una sección 2. Ok. Yo Ajá, necesito que en este caso usted me haga un favor. Que el día de mañana uh, me mande un mensaje para yo solicitar a soporte que me le ayude. ¿Ha tratado de, de ingresar nuevamente? No, dos veces intenté ingresar y me dijo de que ahora ese curso solo puede ingresar por una invitación. Ya no me parece que soy inscrita. Y yo dije, ah, chévere, dijo. Ni modo, ya me no, sacaron no, 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 no. Dije que no, ya me sacaron. No, 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 no. Eh, por favor, recuérdenme para, para ver cómo le ayudamos. Hoy les mandaba un mensaje a Paola. También le puede preguntar a ella directamente. Creo ah, que okay. me mandaba un mensaje. No, creo que fue Fabiola que me escribió. Uh -huh. Sí, Fabiola. Okay. Entonces, le puedo mandar un mensaje directamente a ella, pero igual, acuérdeme, para yo estar pendiente y dar seguimiento a su caso. Vaya, porque yo pensé que ya bien se me No, no, no. Me estuvo preguntando al personal. Entonces, este, ella me mandó al personal eh, que si me aparecían las notas, yo le mandé las capturas que yo, bueno, de hecho, hoy inicié la sección 4. Entonces, este le mandé las capturas a ella eh, la semana pasada cuando iban a tres. Pero sí, no, es que usted las secciones las tiene completas, sección cuatro. En el midterm es que le falta. Ah, eso. Va, lo voy Entonces, a tiene que regresar solamente en el midterm y el examen final le falta a usted, nada más. Ah, va, está bien. Y yes, Martin. Mire, sorry, sorry. I'm sorry. Eh, de lo que está preguntando, de los exámenes y las tareas. Ok. Let's do something. Hagamos algo. Eh, what about if I, at the end of the class, at 10, sharp, I will, a la 10 en punto, yo le digo a cada uno lo que le va faltando. That way we can, that way okay. we can, we don't, in, we don't interrupt the class no more. No interrumpimos la clase más porque hay algunos que ya terminaron. Uh, I mean, Congratulations. I know that some of you have already finished the, the platform. I think algunos ya terminaron la plataforma completita. Thank you very much. I already updated the, the grades. Ya les pasé las notas. Because I upgrade them daily. Lo hago a diario. So, congrats. Uh, well, let's continue. Now, guys, don't forget the platform. If you can, start working on it tonight, tomorrow, because I will advise you Try to do the effort to have it finished for Sunday. Because if you encounter any trouble, we can solve it on Monday. Otherwise, it will be more difficult. So it's more difficult. Uh, like Monday at night, it's pretty difficult. So let's Make our best effort. And if you have any problem with a section, let me know. If you a section that no le let me know. I will gladly help you. Con gusto les ayudo, okay? Don't worry. 
Let's see, let's see, let's see. Well, 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 well. Tonight we have a very interesting class. Okay. Do you remember yesterday we were giving like, uh, giving examples about uh, there is, there are, right? And we were also using prepositions of play and in some prepositions. And we are going to continue using it right now. Okay. We are going to go to the manual to page number 43. Okay. In the manual, in page number 43, exercise one, there's one very interesting part. If you see, we are talking about addresses and places. Okay, now, uh, as a classmate, which, place, which places are in your working place? How does your working area look like? Share. Okay, we are going to use this question. How does your working area look like? What are you going to use? This, there is, there are, in order to explain how it looks like. If you ask me, uh, how does your working area look like? In this case, this one right now, let's see. Well, it's it's a room. It's, a, it's not a big room. It's mostly like a studio. I got, uh, I got my computer. There's a printer next to the computer and there are there are file in here i have a very big desk because i have well actually my files are in this side my wife files are in this side she's more ordered than me and i got my my books are on my right all my books are, are right there. I got like a mostly novel. I got like a hundred books right there. You know, como si libros right there. And I got a a clock. There's a clock right in front of me. There's one lamp and there's one fan. So if you notice, I was using there is, there are, I use in front of me, next to, okay? I am using prepositions of place. That's what you're going to do, but you're going to describe your working area, okay? You're gonna be working in small groups. You're gonna be working in groups of three members per group, okay? Groups are open, please jump in. Hello. Hello, teacher. Let me make some adjustments. Ven a hacer uno arreglitos, ¿ok? Ok.
English teacher. Hello, Rebecca. There's Brian here. Yes. Teacher. Just one question. Solo una, solo una. How's, how's your working area? ¿Cómo es su área de trabajo? You're going to answer saying there is and there are. Vamos a utilizar el derecho. There are. Remember, there is for singular, there are for plural. Okay? Eso and no some, vamos a utilizar. Yes. And some prepositions of like, like in front of, next to. Okay? That's all you're going to do. Okay. Thank you. Bye. Teacher, una pregunta. Yes. Cuando dice cómo funciona tu trabajo, se refiere a que vamos a describir como lo que hay dentro de él, digamos, es como yo quiero describir como mi área de trabajo. Eh, actually, that's exactly what I want. Your working area. Ajá, bye. digamos que yo voy a describir you're going to say, you're going to use there is and there are. Mm -hmm. There's there's one computer or there are two computers or okay. there are three computers. There are uh -huh. some showcases. Okay. Ah, okay. Entendimos. Thank you, teacher. O sea, eh, puede ser como el área de, o sea, en su sala, como usted ve, que puede ser el área. You're de... working, yes, your working area, su área de trabajo. Teacher. Pero una consulta, teacher. Eso estamos hablando aquí con la compañera. Se está refiriendo a. ¿A cómo ah. me siento o cómo? No, no, no. You are going to describe. Va a describir. Describir. Describir yes. cómo miro mi área de trabajo. No, no, no. Hold on. Listen to me. Por eso les puse el ejemplo. Les describí mi área de trabajo y les dije, oh, les decía yo, there is uh, one big desk. Hay un escritorio grande. There are oh. some files yeah, on the desk. Y decía también, en plural, there are some files. Tengo varios, unos archivos acá en el escritorio. There oh, is so one remember. printer next to my computer. You're going to describe what you usually see in your working area. Va a describir lo que normalmente usted mira en su área de trabajo. Ah, vaya, eso quería saber si cómo miraban. Pero es, ¿qué es lo que yo miro en mi área de trabajo? Gracias, teacher. Thanks. Ok, vamos a ver. ¿Y para qué nos pusieron...? Juntitos. Because you need to share with your classmates. Yo lo voy a comentar a él. Yes. Porque <risa> yo le voy a preguntar, Catherine, no de su área, le voy a preguntar de Marvin o de Ana Marisa. Ah, Salaosa. Ok, <risa> gracias. Empieza, Marvin. Hola. Dígame. Vaya, sería. I might work at uh, are two. Sería en mi área de trabajo hay dos vitrinas. There are two showcases. 
they are there are two showcases there are Marvin, ¿cómo fue que dijo? They are two show. Show, no sé qué por acá dijo al final. Show cases. Cases. Ah, show cases. Son dos vitrinas. Okay. Me go, there are two show cases. Tiene una, una casa. Una casa. Exacto. They are. There is a box. Que hay una caja. Marvin. Hola. Hay una caja, dijo. Sí. There is a box. A Exacto. Book. There is a box. Box, box. Quiero ver qué más. Tiene una. Un, un, un freezer de bebida. Ah, no, 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 no. Hay un freezer. Sí. There is a freezer. A oh, freezer. Freezer. Sí, freezer. There is a fresh. Freezer. Uh -huh. freezer. There is a fresh freezer. Ah. Y mucha medicina. <risa> Eso sobra, niña. Marixa. Mejor. En a lot of medicine. Hi, teacher. Hello. I need a help, him, please. Yes, tell me. En el área de trabajo le íbamos a, um, a decir o a explicar como eh, el ambiente, eh, cómo es y en lo que nos enfocamos, en cuando, si en lo que hago o cómo es donde trabajo, si tengo aire acondicionado, si no sé de qué manera. Yes, exactly like that, exactly like that. You need to explain. What is like? Hello. Like you need to say like uh, there is one air conditioner. There are two computers. Okay. Okay. Mm. Well, sorry, yeah. There are there three computers. This, this is para uno. No. ¿Cuál es para uno? There, there es is. Para varias. There is is for one. There are is for many. There are three uh, computers. Yes, tell me. Uh, yo he redactado de la siguiente manera. Uh, no, no sé si está bien. I work in what house? No, logistics. I pack medicine and supply products to the different pharmacies. No sé si está bien. Yes, you need to use there is, there are. Eso está bien, pero yo le decía y le recuerdo que the grammar we are using is there is y there are. 
Por eso yo les ponía el ejemplo. En mi caso, this is my working area. Esta es mi área de trabajo. There is one clock in front of me. Yo les digo que there is I one clock in front of me. Frente a mí. There are some files on my desk. Hay algunos archivos en mi escritorio. You see? That's what you're going to use. There is and there are to explain. Se van a valer de eso para explicar. Es una descripción de su área de trabajo. Yes, exactly. Exactly. There is and there are, yes. Yes, yes. Okay, teacher, okay. Remember yesterday's class. Acordémonos de la clase de ayer. Era. There is, no solo there. There is and there are. La expresión es completa. There is, there are. Okay? Okay. Porque simplemente la palabra there quiere decir allí o allá. Gar. Mm -hmm. Mientras que la frase there is quiere decir hay. Que explica sobre la presencia y la existencia de algo. Entonces sería bien, there are three computers, there is one scanner, there yes. are three three windows uh, there is a one bathroom I see yeah like that okay Y en el caso de Xiomara y Amile. Yo ahorita estoy pensando que voy a poner. Ajá, porque usted no tiene como un área. ¿Mm? Usted comanda de sala en sala. ¿Va? No, Ajá. no estoy en un solo lugar. Y en el caso de ahí. ¿Puedo poner un ejemplo? There is en, en cuando hay un problema en la sucursal. No, en tu caso, lo que tienes que hacer, en su caso, lo que tiene que hacer es explain your activities, explique sus actividades. Y por eso explica que there is not an specific place of work. There is no an specific place of working, right? Okay, teacher. Mm -hmm. 
¿Cómo se decía vitrinas? ¿Qué dice? Showcase. Showcase. ¿Y escrito? Es el... Ouch. Okay, let's see. Atenas, tell me, who were your partners? Eh, Angélica y María Teresa. Okay, tell me about their workplaces. De ellas. Yeah. Híjole, hicimos el de, el de cada una. Ok, but the instruction was to share. Ok, now please ask one of them. Pregúntele a una de ellas entonces. The question Angelica, that I gave you. Angélica, how does your working area look like? Uh, in my area of work, we have computer on the display space, ventilators, mold, 
ese no sé cómo se dice, múltiples shepherds. Um, in the room, there are many medicine, and there are two tables, three chairs, uh, a thermometer, and iPhone. Okay, perfect, thank you. Now, Atenas, ask the same question to somebody else from the class. Um, mm. Voy a buscar aquí, quiero ver. Marvin. Oh. <laughs> qué mala compañía. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. She had told me qué, before. Ya me, ya me había dicho. <laughs> Dale, compañera. Marvin, how, uh, how does your working area look like? In my area, there is a book. There is a re refrigerador. Refrigerator. A fridge. A fridge. Yeah, you can say a fresh. Fresh. Uh, there, there are many medicines. Okay. They, they and? are in ventilador, se dice. Fan. Come. Fun. Fun. Yeah. Finish. Fun. Thank you, Marvin. Okay, Marvin, I need you to ask the question to one of your classmates. Hágale la pregunta a su compañero. Ahorita. That's payback. Revancha. A María Teresa. Ok, María Teresa. No está. <laughs> She's not here. Oh, come on. Ok, Marvin, ask her, please. Hágale la pregunta. María Teresa, how does your working are look like? In my work, we have many other portals. Some of them are, of them are three, three computers. Um, one table and three chair. Chairs. Chair. Chair. Three chairs. 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 Perfect. Okay. Okay. There is a, a street chair. Así es. A what? A street chair. Mo decir camilla. Oh, a stretcher. Yeah, a stretcher. A stretcher. Yes. Yep. Um, a stretcher to inject and a refrigerator. Oh, okay. Where a um, refrigerator where medicine is stored. Okay, a refrigerator. A refrigerator, ¿cómo le? Refrigerator. Refrigerator. <laughs> listen, 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 listen. Refrigerator. Refrigerator, así. Perfect. Or you can make it short. O lo puedes decir más corto. A fridge. 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 Yeah. Okay, mejor esa. <laughs> okay, It's Maria Teresa, time. your your turn. Choose. Boy. Pick one of your classmates. Ya voy. Um, vamos a ver. Uh, Rebecca. Rebecca, how does you work in um, area? Our area look like? There are three people. There is all area of seller. There are many showcases. 
There are three computers. Okay. There is a machine printing. Print. Oh, a printer. A printer. Printer. Esto. Perfect. Uh, Rebecca, your turn. Choose one of your classmates. Okay. Catherine. Hello. Catherine, how does your working art look like? Um, there is conditional art area. 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 There is an um, oasis. Okay. Yeah, um, there is a park. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Now, guys, let me get the second attendance, please. Okay, let's see. Ana Maritza Flores Arbellón. Present. Angélica Guadalupe Tobar de Melgar. Present. Braulio Enrique Hernández Sosa. Present. Brian Alexander Rivas Sánchez. Present. Claudia Teresa Flamenco. Present. Elisa Saraí Martínez Ramírez. Esmeralda Lisbeth Vázquez Silva. Present, teacher. Gabriela Guadalupe Celaya Fraya. Present. Present, Karen. teacher. Okay. Thank you, Lisa. Karen Desiree Mengibar de Sánchez. Catherine Beatriz Morales Calcavilla. Present, teacher. Katia Estefanía Pineda Alvarado. Let's see. Katia Estefanía Pineda Alvarado. Present teacher. María Teresa González de Demus. Present teacher. Marvin Gabriel Romero Cubilla. Milton Antonio García Castellán. Present teacher. Thank you. Mirna Atenas Vanega Zamora. Present. Rebeca del Carmen Morales Molina. Present teacher. Víctor Manuel Reyes Carvajal. And Xiomara Shamilet Mendoza Mendoza. Present teacher. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much. Now let's see, let's continue. Next activity. Okay. Let me share with you guys so we can do the exercise together. Here, look, we have to read the description of Mr. Paz and Mrs. Aguilar workplaces. Can you guess where they work? Guess, adivinar, suponer. There is a beautiful lobby. There are comfortable rooms. There's a huge parking lot. There are three high-tech elevators, Mr. Pass. In the case of Miss 
Mrs. Aguilar, there is a narrow, a narrow reception area. There are two dirty dining rooms. There is an ugly photocopy center. There are small offices. Now, after checking this, there's a typo here. Okay, they are missing the S. So, you have to read the information again to answer the questions and then compare with a partner. How, do, how does Mr. Paz describe workplace? What does Mrs. Aguilar think about her workplace? On which of the two places, places here, I don't know where to work and why. Okay, guys, let's see. You need to answer these two questions. Okay. Remember, we are talking about the manual. We are in page number 43. So let me get the screenshot for you. And I'm gonna send you back to the groups so you can work together, okay? There you go. Okay.
como que escribe poniéndolo así, es beautiful, comfortable, y perky, como resumido, digo yo. O podemos poner eh, eh, his, his girl is, ¿cómo va a poner su, su, su no, ¿qué va a poner? His which, girl. Which question, which question. How does Mr. Paz? Ah, ok. How does? Él puso una descripción. ¿Cómo es esa descripción? Is it good? ¿Es buena? ¿Es mala? Ajá, ajá. Ah. es como un resumen de todo lo que él ha puesto. No literal, vamos a poner todo. Yeah, no, no, and you can tell me, eh, you can tell me, well, he describes it as a nice place, lo describe como un lugar bonito. Pues por la descripción le ha gustado. Be because, pero... yeah, the other one is not a good place to go, right? Entonces solo vamos a poner como is good. Yeah, it's but very... you can explain, you can explain. Puede explicar también. Come on, María Teresa. Sería. Podría ser como la respuesta, his, his workplace is uh, very, very beautiful. Cool. I like your sentence. Uh -huh. Great. His Yeah. Number two. Dice, what does Mr. Aguilar thinks so much? Es como, ¿qué es lo que piensa acerca de su trabajo la señora Aguilar? Es similar. Dice, there is... Uy, pero... La señora Aguilar habla algo feito de su trabajo. Um, no, horrible. <ríe> bueno, ya sé que voy a contestar en la siguiente pregunta. No, yeah, prefiero actually, trabajar donde el señor Paz. Mr. Paz. Yeah, me too. Y dice por qué. Yes, you have to tell me why. Sería como because todo está sucio. Ajá, sí. Yo he desordenado prácticamente. Porque mm, es creo. como para como para reorganizar es como mala mal. Es un lugar no agradable, podría, podría ser. Pesado, mal distribuido. Este... Es un lugar... No, no podría ser no apto para trabajar. Porque... Es un lugar incómodo, podría ser. Uncomfortable. It's an uncomfortable place. Uh -huh. Yo, es un lugar terrible. <laughs> es un... Un con, ¿Cómo dijo el profe? Un, un concur... Uncomfortable. 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 Desagradable, así se dice. ¿Cómo se dice desagradable? Incómodo. Es un incómodo. lugar incómodo no, y es desagradable. Que... Oh, ok, ok. Desagradable es una palabra. Mm. Ajá. Disgusting. Ah, disgusting. Disgusting. Be careful with that word. Ten cuidado con esa palabra. Because if you apply it to a person, si usted la aplica a una persona, 
it will sound like um, asqueroso. I know. Yeah, you gotta be careful. You gotta be careful. Pero como acá está diciendo que... Eh, yeah, it's a place, you can say it. Uh -huh. I mean, you can say it about a person, but... Mm, I wouldn't there recommend it. There is an it. ugly, ugly photocopy center. There are small office. Son cosas negativas. Yeah. On which on the two place do you want to work? In the workplace, the Mr. Pass. Why? In in Mr. Pass, a la par del, de la Z le pone apóstrofe S y Mr. Pass's workplace. ¿Te recuerdan que les expliqué el posesivo? Sí. Y en la tercera sería, ¿en cuál de los dos lugares te gustaría trabajar? ¿Por qué? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yes. Mister, ¿sabes? Por el ambiente, por el ambiente laboral. <risa> sí. Because. Entonces sería Let's give them 60 seconds and then we bring them back. There you go, Rayla. Hi, teacher. Let's see everybody start. Okay, let's see. Gabriela, where would you like to work? Tell me. Uh, if Mr. Pass was, please. Okay, please explain to me why. Because it sounds a good place. Okay. Because Why it's a good place? Tell me. Because they they have a ah, comfort. ¿Cómo sería comfortable? Comfortable. Comfortable. Yeah, comfortable. Comfortable room. Okay, excellent. Thank you. Atenas, your turn. Tell me where you wouldn't like to work. In Mr. Pass's work place. Okay. Why not? Because I'm asking you where you wouldn't. 
sorry. Le estoy preguntando dónde no le gustaría. Oh, oh my God. Um, in workplace. Uh -huh. Mr. Aguilar. Why not? ¿Por qué no? Um, because it's a uh, dirty and small and disgusting place. Okay, dirty, small, and disgusting. <laughs> Perfect, thank you. Now, Xiomara, what about you? Where would you like to work? Where do you want to work? La misma pregunta de licenciada Atena. No, in your case is affirmative. En mi caso soy afirmativo. Um, repeat, please. Where would you like to work? ¿Dónde le gustaría trabajar? Ah, pues soy adaptable, pero según acá, tiene Mr. Paz. Okay, you would like to work. Why? ¿Por qué? Porque por uh, there are comfortable rooms. Okay, perfect. Okay, guys. Now I got a question. Thank you very much. Uh, I'm sorry for the rest of you that I didn't ask you. Now I got a question for you. Okay, you're going to discuss what is your dream job. Okay. What is your dream job? ¿Cuál es su trabajo soñado? Okay. You're going to describe. Okay. It doesn't mean that you are not happy where you are, but we always like something new or something better, right? No quiere decir que no estemos bien donde estamos, pero there's always a room for improvement. Siempre hay un espacio de mejora. Okay. So you're good. I want you to think about, wow, which will be my dream job? ¿Qué características debería tener un trabajo para que pueda ser su trabajo soñado? ¿Ok? So, you're going to think about it and you're going to discuss in groups. ¿Ok? Okay. Ah, el ya. trabajo Entonces, o el, el área de trabajo. No. No, your dream no, place. Mi trabajo, mi sueño. ¿Cuál es mi, el, el trabajo que mi, yo quiero tener? El, mi trabajo soñado. Ajá, o sea, ¿qué es lo que nos gustaría o nos gustaba o si estamos bien? Yeah, exactly. Ajá. Yeah, because I mean, I remember in one course, I remember in one module, I asked that question, yo hice esta pregunta en un módulo, and one of students told me, I love selling and I do enjoy my job. Tuve una alumna que me dijo, este, me encanta el área de ventas y, and she was working for a call center, estaba trabajando para un call center en el área de ventas y everything was perfect for her, todo estaba perfecto para ella. Her job was her dream job. El trabajo que tenía era su trabajo soñado. I mean, that's okay. It's like, in my case, I love teaching. I don't want to work some of uh, anything else. No quiero trabajar de otra cosa. Super. Estamos yeah. igual. Okay. Porque Then explain siempre, why. Then quiero... explain why. Explain por qué. In English, <laughs> yes, you can do it. Que no mira que solo me puedo... 
Yamara. Hola. Pues mi trabajo soñado es Leave the country work in RH. Salir del país. Salir del país y trabajar en recursos humanos. Human resources. Ah, right. Human resources. Y me gustaría eh, salir, digamos, a, la, el trabajo que hago me gusta, pero me gustaría o sea, salir de... Let's go check another group. Yes. 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 Were Monday, drunk, Friday, and. Bueno, la cosa Friday, es que era. Friday. I'm Friday. Um, ahí no sé cómo se pronuncia eso. Here. What? ¿Cómo se pronuncia? Es qué? ganar 100 dólares diarios. Ok. <laughs> Trabajar de lunes a viernes y ganar 100 dólares diarios. A hundred dollars a day. Mm. Ganar ciento de verdad. Oh, yo no veo lo suyo, Martín. Yo no noté el último suyo, Katia. Half word meeting. ¿Cómo dijo, compañera? Half word meeting. Bueno.
Okay, Maria Teresa, tell me a little bit about your current job, please. El mío. Yep. Um, my dream job will be place where I call rest every every weekend and to travel different places. Rest from different, different places. Places. Ah, sí, sí. Perdón. Places. Rest from yeah. different time. Excellent. Now let's see. Um, Katia. Hello, teacher. Um, but my dream work is work from Monday to Friday. Have mm -hmm. the opportunity to study. If I go meeting. Okay, excellent. Now let's see, Brian. Uh, so yeah. mm -hmm. In my own boss. So oh, to be my own boss. No. Okay, okay. Excellent. Now let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Who's next? Rebecca. Okay. Um, my. Bueno. Bush in administration. Administration. Um, be, be a house manager. Okay. Cualquiera de esas dos. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Now let's see Catherine. Um, pues lo que me conformo con work from Monday to Friday. Trabajar de okay. lunes a viernes. From Monday to Friday. Friday, eso. Okay, excellent. Now let's see Braulio, what about you? Um, el mío, ¿verdad? Yep. Uh, work in computer. Thank you. Oh, that's interesting. Quite interesting. Thank you. Let's yes. see, Atenas, what about you? My dream job is to help the people with their problems because okay that... i got a bunch of problems Atenas. i can make you happy <laughs> okay <laughs> because yeah, i got a that... lot of problems <laughs> because that gives me personal satisfaction personal personal sat satisfaction okay excellent Hmm. Hmm. Elisa, what about you? Mm. I... I want to consent. I'm sorry? I, I want to be a consent. Oh, to be an accountant, that's interesting. Yes, teacher. But I like um, be cashier now. Okay. Excellent, thank you. Now, let's see, let's see, let's see. Gabriela, what about you? 
my dream work will be being my own boss. To be your own boss. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Doing what? <laughs> I want my nail salon. To own your own. Okay, perfect, perfect. Excellent, thank you. You're welcome. And let's see, one last person, no ultima person. Who is it going to be? <laughs> Marvin, thank you. My dream how have a good letter to Super Joe. Super Joe. Jules. Okay, okay. Well, let's continue, guys. We have another activity to perform. Okay, now, how to use adjectives before nouns? There is something very interesting here. First, we have positive and negative adjectives. Now, in English, the position of the adjective, if you notice, is right before the noun. Like, there are comfortable rooms. Now, if you notice something, Uh, if you notice something, this is the adjective, comfortable, huge, nice, illuminated, narrow, small, disgusting, smelly. These words are the adjectives, okay? These are the adjectives, comfortable. Huge, nice, illuminated, okay? Narrow, small, disgust, smelly, yes? Well, uh, what that means, narrow? What? Narrow, angosto. No, okay, thank you. Okay, now look. Rooms. Parking lot. Places. Training room. Reception area. Offices. Kitchen area, no. living room. All these words, the ones in blue, are nouns. The adjectives, as you remember, are the ones that qualify, qualification, or describe a noun. Describen nombre. In English, they come before. In English, vienen antes. So. We mean that, in this case, the adjectives, the adjectives, are this. Okay? Questions? Preguntas? Okay, no questions. That's excellent. So, now the exercise we are going to do, el ejercicio. We have to complete the sentences using the words provided and the correct verb, okay? Like, there is, like in this case, look, the sentence could be, in este this case, the oración could be said. Okay. 
there is a, a small gym. You see? There is a small gym. In this case, cafeterias is plural. There are clean cafeterias, okay? Do you understand the activity? Yes, perfect. So let's go do the exercise. But before we jump into the exercise, let me share with you the little explanation I was giving. And also the exercise we are going to perform. Okay, guys, you're going to work in the room. So you will have four minutes for this activity. veces el 2, 1, 2, el clean cafeterios es la 3. Yep. Ah, Ajá. Eso que Entonces, sería de eh, is... La primera era de is small gym. Exacto, la segunda. They are new Espérame. training room. Espérame. They are new training rooms. They are new training rooms. Training rooms. Ajá, habla de cuarto, de varios. La otra sí le dijo el teacher. They are clean cafeterias. Yeah. Ajá. La cuatro habla solo de, de uno. Ahí yeah. sería de Iris. Pero dice reunión, cuarto de reunión. Es, reunión. Smart, listo. Está listo el cuarto de reunión. Ah, pues si solo de uno habla, va. Sí. En la cuatro. Sí, sí. Habla de uno. Ah, pues ahí sería de Iris. De Iris. De Smart Meeting Room. La cuatro. There, Ajá. There is. There is. There is. Smart. 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 Ajá. Es meeting room. Meeting room. Meeting room. La cinco la sí habla de baño, va. De, de varios baños. De varios. La pojería. De ya. Ajá, de ya. Uh, they are esa palabra un pleasant bathroom bathroom lo siento muy fácil no sé si están bien <risa> un pleasant <risa> es mesurado uh, ¿sí? eh, un pleasant Tiny cubicle, ¿qué significará? Tiny, tiny, look. Tiny. 
tiny. tiny. Very, very small. Muy chiquito. Ah, pues de uno habla allí también. Cubículo muy pequeño. Mm. Ah, yeah. pues sería de de gris. De gris. There is, no. there is no. There is tiny cubicle. Tiny. Tiny, tiny, tiny. No, there are small office. They are small. Es pequeño. Es más pequeño. ¿Te dice? No, si yo estoy loco. There is. No. No, que como ahí solo nos vamos a fijar en la Okay, we're just waiting for everybody to be back. Okay, let's see. Let's do the exercise together. I don't know. Okay, we have to complete the sentences using the word provider and the correct verb. Okay, sentence number one. Let's see who is it going to be. Goes to uh, Angelica, number one. Okay, there is a small gym. Perfect, thank you. Number two uh, goes to Esmeralda. Creo que mencionó mm. que iba a retirarse. Un ok, per perfect, perfect. And then, thank you. Then let's see, let's see. Braulio, what you got in number two? Number two. 
the are new training room okay there are new training rooms perfect well done okay. number three that is two again that one goes to um Shimara. There are a clean cafeteria. Okay. Look, a means un o una. And this is plural. No puede ir la misma. A. There are clean cafeterias. Mm. Okay? Okay. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Rebecca, number four. There is uh -huh. I am meeting. There is a um, meeting. Medium smart room. There is a medium there, room. Hold on. There is a a smart meeting room. ¿Por qué? Porque smart es el adjetivo. Medium room uh -huh. es el... Entonces, el adjetivo va antes del nombre, ¿ok? Ok. Ok. Next one is unpleasant bathrooms. That one goes to... Katia. Mm -hmm. Vaya. Pusimos they, they are... There are they are on no, place there place. are there 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 are uh -huh. unpleasant unpleasant bathroom bathrooms okay perfect next one uh, let's see, the last one goes to Gabriela. Give me the last one, please. There is a tiny cubicle. There is a tiny cubicle. There is a, oops. There is My a bad. tiny cubicle. Okay, so number one, there is a small team. Number two, there are new training rooms. Number three, there are clean cafeteria. Number four, there is a smart meeting room. Number five, there are unpleasant bathrooms. Number six, there is a tiny cubicle. Okay, guys. Let's see, well, Believe it or not, the time has come for all of us to, well, for this class to finish. So let me get the final attendance if you are so very kind. Ana Marixa Flores Cervellón. Present. Angelica Guadalupe Tobar de Melgar. Present. Braulio Enrique Hernández Sosa. Present teacher. Brian Alexander Rivas Sanchez. Present. Claudia Teresa Clamente. Elisa Saraí Martínez Ramírez. Present. Esmeralda Lisbeth Vázquez Silva. Present teacher. Gabriela Guadalupe Zelaya Sayas. Present. Karen Desiree Mengibar de Sánchez. Present. Catherine Beatriz Morales Calzadilla. Present. Katia Estefanía Pineda Alvarado. Present, teacher. María Teresa González de Lemo. Present. Marvin Gabriel Romero Cubías. Present, teacher. Milton Antonio García Castellano. Mirna Atenas Vanega Zamora. Present. 
Rebeca de Carmen Morales Molina. Present teacher. Víctor Manuel Reyes Carvajal. And Xiomara Xamilet Mendoza Mendoza. Present teacher. Okay. Perfect. Well, guys, time's over. Thank you very much for being here today. Don't forget, please work in the platform, work in the platform. We need to finish it. And see you tomorrow. Have a good night. Take care. Bye. Rest. Bye. Good night. Bye. Good Enjoy care. your night. See you tomorrow. Bye. Good night. Bye. 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 Take care. Bye. Good night. Bye-bye. Goodbye. Bye, Braulio. Oh, man. Claudia. Hello, Claudia. We're missing some extra faces in the platform. Claudia, don't forget them. Oops. Marvin, Marvin, you were supposed to stay tonight. Where did you go?
Oh, it's a moment. 